Zaurum. Vampires don't sleep. It's not intended for sleep. The one thing I really was surprised by in the film is how tender their lovemaking was. Is oh. it creepy I just said lovemaking? No. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, of course it's tender, yeah. But yeah. it had no a little... No bed's broken. No bed's broken, no, no, no. He had a great idea for how to start it, you know, which is that what would be the most erogenous zone on her body? Can you imagine what it is? Her neck. Her neck, right? It's the one place he's never been able to kiss because mm, he, the... it'd be too hard to resist, you know? Oh. So the minute she's a vampire, that's what he wants to go after, and that's how he started, it. yeah. I like that. Well, yeah. and he's a classy guy, too. He starts with the neck. Exactly, right. <laughs> The Collins, they've done something terrible. Allow me, my dear. The, the, the madness of Arrow finally comes out, I think, in this exactly. movie. Exactly. Woo, that laugh. All that, all that crazy that he's been keeping underneath. I, I thought that it's a great way to get a sense of that, what's going on underneath, to hear it in a laugh. Did you have other laughs that didn't make the final cut? <laughs> I keep all my laughs in a little laugh box at home, <laughs> and I take them out. And I and I this one was number twenty six. Nice. In, well, I'm looking forward to seeing twenty five. Maybe if the Queen ever gets a sequel. Yeah, Tony Blair has a madass laugh. <laughs> I think I see Arrow as kind of the worst boss ever. <laughs> I, he's a lovely boss. What are you talking <laughs> about? I don't know, man. Great he's... benefits. Pension is fantastic. <laughs> Arrow's not modeled on bosses. Arrow is modeled, modeled if anything, on uh, characters that scared the bajinkies out of me when I was growing up. So, like the child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Do you remember oh him? my god! Lally pops. That's Ooh. about as scary as it gets. And uh, the blue meanie from Yellow Submarine, wow. uh, who has a voice very like this, and then goes crazy. So that's very, uh, very Arrow. Oh my. Is it true that your father was a detective? Yes, yeah. Detectives have sort of an inherent knowing about people. Yeah. And I wondered if you thought you'd inherited any of that because it seems to reflect in your movies that you really get people. I think it, it's like my suspicious nature, maybe. That's, that's what I inherited. <laughs> you don't believe anything anybody says. Um, yeah, definitely you have to be, a, to be an observer, yeah. And curious as well. Absolutely, yes. In in getting to know Bella and Edward, you know, as the, as it was written in the script, what do you what surprised you the most that you discovered? You know, Edward was was I would think the bigger revelation. You know, as I really got to work with Rob, and then just to understand that so much of what informed the way Rob was playing it was this guilt over uh, this period in his life where he had killed humans and all that. And that's what I think is so remarkable about Rob in this movie, is that the weight's finally lifted. Right. He's happy with Bella, and he has a family, and there's a lightness to him that I think is really kind of going to surprise people. Go inside. Have you ever read something about yourself totally untrue and totally hilarious? I once read that um, I was going to, if I had a baby, I was going to name it Sexma. Because with my surname Sheen, uh -huh. they would then be known as Sex Machine. <laughs> that was one of the things I read. That's kind of brilliant. The oh, sex Ma, come in for your tea. I'd have to shout that, wouldn't I? All, all the time. And then almost when you're calling the child by its full name, it's not even a punishment. It's yeah, exactly. Sex Machine, <laughs> will you stop fiddling? Because <laughs> yeah, he'd have no trouble at school, would he? Called Sex Machine. If you had to choose, where, be a werewolf or be a vampire? What well, do you think you choose? A vampire, definitely. Vampire really? is more in control, I think. You know, oh. Werewolf always seems to be kind of, it's happening against their will in some way, and they're big, clunky animals, you know. Do you want a special power? <laughs> yes, but I won't say what it is. It does have to do with somebody's neck? <laughs> it does not. Uh, vampires have better tailoring. <laughs> Important. Uh, yeah. Uh, but werewolves, uh, you can turn up and be a bit grubby. You don't have to have a bath. Oh, okay. So, you know, you can skip the shower of a morning. I don't like shaving, so being a vampire shaving every day is a bit of a nightmare. It works for you, though, the scruff, so I say that Thank you should you. stick with werewolf. Okay. Especially because I think werewolves have great jackets. Well, maybe I could be like a werewolf in my body and face, but clothes wise, I could be a vampire. And this is, I think, what Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 3 should be. Part 3, yes. Part 3. The Revenge of the Werepire. <laughs>